Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to start the Spring Boot Plus MongoDB project. So let's begin with our uh, setting up our project in this video. Okay. So there are a uh, few of the prerequisites that we need to, you need to have on your system. So the first one is that you should have a JDK 17 or above. So the current and latest JDK is 22. In my system, I have JDK 21. So I will be using that one. You can go ahead with the JDK 22, 21 or 17 as per your which, whichever you wish to go with. Okay. But the latest one is more preferable. Okay. Either, either, either the latest one or the latest LTS one right so 21 is the latest lts one and or 22 is non lts but the latest version right second thing is you need an id so just you need a one id intellij idea community this is a free id which we will be using here if you have a personal preference for eclipse uh, spring tool suit or vs code you can go with that it's uh, all okay right everything works and then finally we need to have mongodb so first thing for intellij just to go here and there are two versions if you can pay then you can use ultimate if you uh, otherwise here the option is for intellij idea community edition you can download here and it will give you an executable file just uh, go with next 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 and it you can install it easily okay for mongodb you need to go to the mongodb website now there are two options how you can install mongodb so first option is go to products section here and click on here community edition so when you click on community edition here is an option for downloading the community edition so it will install the mongodb in your system locally and to interact it with using gui you can install compass okay so you can go to compass and you can uh, download it it's uh, very simple to install so just download it and you can uh, use the compass for interacting with the mongodb which is installed locally but the another way to install is through docker because uh, through docker it is more uh, like we can use any version of the mongodb as well as the installation is the image of the mongodb is very uh, small so it takes very less space so i would prefer to go with that now how do we install mongodb using docker we don't have to actually install it okay everything will be done by spring itself whatever uh, you will just see in a moment you just have to install docker desktop on your system so go to the website of the docker and here in the product section click on doc the docker desktop this page will appear now depending on which system you have you will get the download option i have the windows system so i am getting download for windows if you have mac you will get these options and for linux also there is an option okay so just install it you don't have to do anything uh, it, within the docker you don't have to pull any image or run any container you can do it you can experiment with it but all the things can be managed by the r spring boot application okay we'll see in a moment so this is how the docker uh, desktop looks like i have few containers and images for my own personal purposes so that's uh, why it's showing that much uh, containers but for you it will be completely empty okay so let's close this docker desktop if you close the docker desktop also the docker will be running here as you can see here the docker is running right behind uh, in the background so that's important now let's start our spring application so let's you have to go to start.spring.io here select maven as a project build tool language as java the spring boot version will be 3.2.5 in the group uh, let's use okay so the uh, name of our uh, pro uh, project or some the type of the application we will be building is our courses application okay so we will name it like dev.courses and it will be a courses app okay 
I will name it the description I will give it as Spring Boot MongoDB project this much is fine select 21 because I have the JDK 21 selected JDK 21 in my system depending on what you have installed just select that JDK okay in the dependency we will go with uh, web then we will say mongodb so go with spring data mongodb here and uh, let's take lombok also it will be useful so currently this much is required so let's see if everything is correct may 1 java 3.2.5 dab.courses courses app okay okay dab.courses dot courses app uh let's remove this and just make the package name as that courses only jar and 21 perfect the dependencies is web mongodb and lombok one more thing i have to take i forgot just just take a docker compose support okay because i am using mongodb using docker so i i am i, I have to use this dependency of docker compose support right if you have installed mongodb as a local installation if you are using it then also it is fine you don't have to use this docker compose support but if you are if you want to use mongodb using docker then you need to put this dependency into it okay let's generate our project so i will generate in the idea project save here so i will extract this project here so once my project is extracted i will just remove this zip file here is my project i'll go inside i'll go to intellij open and from here just have to go inside the courses app don't select the first courses app folder select the second one okay and then click on okay wait for some time it will uh, index it and it will set up the whole project okay so the project has been set up for mine it uh, will take time according to your internet connection okay so our application is here and it's uh, ready to run but before we run it we need to do some configuration first configuration we will do it is in compose.yaml file okay now here we need to specify a few things so first we need to specify the name of the database so i will say courses underscore db password i will take as 1234 you can go with anyone and username as mongo now here the port it is given this port is the port inside the docker okay but we have to also mention a port of our own system where we can access the uh, this mongodb which is running inside the docker okay inside the container okay so i will say 27 017 so 27017 is the default port for the mongodb right so this much configuration you have to do this you can set up according to yourself here also you can spe specify the default port okay the first port is for is the port of your actual system of your pc the second port is the uh, port of the uh, docker container that will be running okay so that much configuration is, is to be done here now in the application.properties what you have to do is we will convert it into a yaml file first it's better to work with yaml so i will convert it into yml okay and i will be pasting this configuration here here the database name you just need to change uh, we need to select this course db and we need to put this course db courses db here okay so this is the configuration that you have to put in the yaml file I'll push whole code into the GitHub and I will share the link with you so you can just copy paste this and change the values according to whatever you have put in your uh, system. Okay, so this much configuration is required. That's it. Now we are ready to run our application. So just right click on it and say run. Now ensure that your Docker is running in the background. Okay, so if you see that it will automatically pull the image as you have if you have installed the docker for the first time it will take some time because it will pull the image from the internet and then it will start the container so it will take some time okay so here you can see that our application has started without any issues right so this means our setup is successful now we can begin to actually implement whatever we need to do the first thing is to implement the crud application 
operations right we will be implementing or starting with implementation of CRUD operation from the next video okay so this was all about how to set up your project okay those who have followed me in the backend series so there the setup was a different a local setup here we are using a bit different way in a using docker so it is a different way to set up the project so both are okay and fine but this is more preferred way to set up the project because uh, if you are working in a team then this is more useful okay to set up your project according to the docker right we will start with implementation of the crud operation from the next video i hope you like this video please subscribe to the channel if you are new here and like the video and share with this with more like-minded people i'll see you in the next one till then bye bye